Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to another Magic the Gathering Commander Review. Like I said in the last video with Gwendolyn de Corsi, um, I want to know what you guys' thoughts are if I should do maybe a tier list after I'm done doing all the cards in this set. Let me know in the comments below. But without further ado, in the Legend set we are now talking about Halfdane, the Shapeshifter. Halfdane is a legendary creature shapeshifter that is a 3-3 on its own and costs one generic, one white, one blue, and one black mana. However, Halfdane is a 3-3 when its ability is not in play, but at the beginning of your upkeep, change Halfdane's base power and toughness to the power and toughness of target creature other than Halfdane until your next upkeep. And there are various ways that we can play with this. Uh, EDH Rec has its own strategy that a lot of people play with this commander, but I think it's more of a tribe thing rather than like playing off of Half Dane's ability. So with that, we're gonna go straight into the rules. There are a couple rules for Half Dane. Uh, really? Oh, I guess it's just the one. I thought there was more. Uh, the main thing to remember with Halfdane is that the duration of his ability, it lasts until your next upkeep, right? So if, let's say, you activated Halfdane's ability and it became a 6-6 six -six from some creature on the field, and then it was your next upkeep, his ability goes on the stack. If someone were to counter the ability or negate its uh, resolution somehow, then uh, you would not pick a new ability. It would just resort to what it previously was, which would be a 6-6. Six, six. Um, however, if it's at the time where his trigger is going to end, and he's no longer going to be a 6-6, six, six, and it's now time for you to pick a new creature, uh, and then that is prevented, he goes to his base stats, which is... Uh, his original base stats, which is a 3-3. Not all that complicated. The wording here makes it seem more complicated than it actually is. Pretty much, if someone stops him from shifting into something else, he'll just stay the something he became. And then, if that is also stopped, he just becomes a 3-3. Uh, so, regardless of what happens, he will always at least be a 3-3. It's not like if an ability, his uh, ability gets negated and uh, he can't be a 6-6, six, six, he then dies. It's not That's not how it works. He'll just become a 3-3 three, three at the very base value. So, that's all that's saying. A card I thought was fun with, uh, with Half Dane is I went for the strongest non-legendary legal card in the Commander format that Halfdane could get the base stats from. So Ludovic's Abomination, which is the flip side of, oh goodness, I'm not prepared. No, I'm not prepared. Ludovic's Abomination. Ah, oh, Ludovic's Test Subject is the front side and then it flips to Ludovic's Abomination. So make Halfdane a 1313. Um, Halfdane is uh, like Dacom Blackblade. This is one of those where its power and toughness varies on something. So I put it in a uh, an Esper or a white, blue, black vehicle deck because its stats can shift, which means it can easily crew different vehicles of mine uh, as the game progresses. Uh, so in this, just like with the Dacon deck, the Parhelion 2, Prodigy's Prototype, Mobilizer Mech, getting these vehicles out and getting the value from crewing those vehicles, uh, and winning the long game with card advantage and uh, various effects of going wide with tokens and stuff like that. However, on EDH Rec, very popular theme, and really the only theme with Halfdane on the EDH track is Shapeshifter Tribal, Clone Tribal, um, wanting to copy either your cards or more importantly your opponent's cards 
and then having Half Dane gain the base power and toughness of those cards. Really, I think a lot of these are in here, mostly because Half Dane itself is a shapeshifter. So I think that's really the only reason why this is here. Uh, all in all, I think this would be a, the fun, the most fun of the deck ideas because it's one of those where you're playing at the level of whatever your opponents are playing at. So it keeps the games interesting at least. Lastly, I did a Power and Toughness Matters in these colors, which is kind of weird because most, most of the time when you're playing with Power, Toughness Matters, you're dealing with red for fling effects, you're dealing with green for like life gain effects or like uh, fighting with toughness kind of stuff. Uh, so in these three colors specifically, it was interesting to like look for cards that would be fun with this strategy. So Ancient Stone Idol is another very strong non-legendary creature that I picked for this deck. 12-12 stats make Half Dane a 12-12 really imposing uh, attacker. Dread Defiler, when, uh, when inevitably your creatures are getting removed, those big heavy hitters like Ancient Stone Idol, you can then fling them in black, which is really cool. Uh, for four mana, it's expensive, of course, but you can fling from your graveyard and throw 12 damage at an opponent, which I think is a lot of fun. Engulf the Shore probably synergizes the most with Halfdane specifically in this deck. Have Halfdane get the base power and toughness of Ancient Stone Idol, and then board wipe your opponents with Engulf the Shore, where uh, creatures with less toughness than the number of islands you control are returned to their owner's hands. So that's really fun uh, because then you have a board of giant creatures that you know withstood the flood and now can go punching your opponents, which is really cool. And that's going to do it for Half Dane. Pretty straightforward. Uh, by far one of the most unique commanders ever printed. Um, I'm sure at some point in the future there'll be a better synergy that goes along with Half Dane and what Half Dane is doing. But the biggest downside of Half Dane is it is weak on its own. Because if there's nothing for it to get stats off of, it's just a 3 3 for 4 mana. So not a lot you're working with there. All in all, though, I think Half Dane is a lot of fun. And uh, I can't wait to play with it and see how it goes in a vehicle deck personally. So let me know in the comments below what you think, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!